Republicans are expected to soon vote on a new plan to avert a quickly approaching government shutdown. House Speaker Mike Johnson announced yesterday that congressional leaders reached an agreement on a three-month stopgap measure. This would tee up a spending fight on Capitol Hill just ahead of the holidays. The government is currently on track to run out of money just over a week from today. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian is here to discuss this. So, Nicole, what is in this package? Well, it's pretty bare bones. You know, this pretty much keeps the government operational through December 20th. Nothing more, nothing less. Really, the only additions to this bill is that it also now includes an additional $230 million, roughly, for Secret Service to use right away for campaign purposes. Uh, it doesn't include uh, as much disaster aid as uh, the administration ideally wanted to uh, deal with things, for instance, like the Maui wildfires and other natural disasters that have occurred over the last couple of months. But but um, that being said, you know, this is something that uh, Democrats feel they can live with. They were pushing for a bipartisan package, something that just went through the end of the year. And ultimately, uh, this was the product of bipartisan negotiations. Well, Trump previously said Republicans should not accept a plan that does not include a House-approved bill that would require proof of citizenship to register to vote in federal elections. Could his influence stop this from approval? You know, the former president has been pretty vocal about this and has even consulted with Speaker Johnson about uh, what's known as the SAVE Act, which you're referring to, which is this measure that was attached to the last CR that requires proof of citizenship to register to vote in federal elections. You see a post from the former president there uh, saying that if Republicans can't get it every ounce of it, they should not agree to a continuing resolution. But I think the reality of it is, when you look uh, at the politics of the situation, right, we're about, you know, five weeks from Election Day, and the last thing, particularly some congressional Republicans want, is for the government to shut down. It's really not a good look. It's not uh, something they can campaign on. So uh, there certainly are some who feel like, look, maybe this isn't the deal that we wanted, but, you know, they don't want that head of having to litigate a shutdown at this particular time. So uh, we're expecting that this should be a relatively drama-free week in terms of, you know, moving this package forward later this week. In fact, uh, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has already indicated that the Senate stands poised to uh, do its part, uh, assuming this clears the House. So this funds the government until December. Is it likely that we're just going to find ourselves in the same situation again right before the holidays? Well, in terms of those, uh, you know, who are familiar kind of with the crafting of this deal, and particularly those close to uh, Speaker Johnson, you know, one of his big things, and that's part of why initially he pushed a six-month continuing resolution, is, you know, he's a big proponent of, I don't want any kind of <laughs> drama around the holidays. I don't want a so-called Christmas omnibus, which are these, you know, massive bills where everybody tries to, you know— put in their pet project, if you will. So, uh, you know, his team is swearing by the fact that they don't think that's going to happen, even though this deadline runs out just before Christmas, December 20th. Um, but there are some unresolved funding issues. As I mentioned, you know, a lot of disaster aid didn't get in this package. That is one thing that uh, could likely be uh, pushed for in the next package. You know, there's concern about having more funding, for instance, in the wake of that bridge collapse in Maryland. So uh, this will be yet another opportunity for for lawmakers to try to get some additional add-ons, if they will. Whether or not it sparks a massive funding fight at the end of the year remains to be seen. Nicole Killian, thank you.